Capricorn, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one subscribers, my foundation subscribers. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are greatly appreciated. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, this is just a general energy check-in, real short, sweet. Well, it depends on how, where spirit takes it, uh, but it's just letting you know what's going on in your world, the energies around you, the energies within you, along with some things that are coming towards you if they have not happened already, along with some invaluable guidance from spirit. So this is a general energy check and it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to check your sun or moon rising. That may help you to connect the dots, or you can also... Just book me for a personal reading or well, because there is a possibility that this just may not be your reading and that's okay too. You can always just click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Now, speaking about uh, personal readings, the link to that is in the beginning of my description box. I am no longer having the promotion where when you book me for a full in-depth reading, I throw in three programs for free. That promotion is over, but there will be others, so stay tuned. So Capricorn, shameless plug over. Cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's jump into your reading. We have Broken Heart, Four of Swords, hmm. Two of Air in Reverse, the lovers and journey. Hmm. Okay, so Cappy, it looks like you either, someone either broke your heart or they're going to break your heart. So for some of you, Spirit said it's split. Some of you, you were with someone and they broke your heart, so you kind of retreated and you are... You're recharging, rejuvenating. You kind of put yourself in hermit mode. Mm -hmm. You may have abandoned this person or you felt like they abandoned you. But you are in this place of solitude right now where you're just holding your own corner, doing your own thing. You've retreated. For some of you, you've done this just for your own mental and emotional peace of mind, peace of soul. Because this relationship with this person was very unbalanced. Uh, you may have been in a situation also where you were two or like uh, polar opposites, you know, and then sometimes opposites attract and sometimes they repel each other. So in this situation, it looks like you repelled each other because you guys were too different and you guys could not uh, come to some kind of understanding or see eye to eye. And you decided that you just didn't want to work on this anymore. You're just going to let it go. But this is someone, you could have been married to this person or been in a common law relationship. Some of you could have a child or children with this person. Mm -hmm. But you, for some of you, you're heartbroken, but you want to move forward with this person. Some of you, you're heartbroken and you just decided to move on. Because mm -hmm. we have here... Financial constraints in reverse. Yeah, this is this sounds like a cappy reading. Yeah. Four of fire. Emotions. And youth. Yes, 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 yes. This sounds like a cappy reading. So, my Capricorns, it looks like you decided to let this go. Just drop this situation with this person and focus on making your money. Yes. You're focused, man. <laughs> yes, you are. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, that Jay-Z song. I'm focused, man. Yes, Cappies. You're focused on making your money, getting your bank up, stacking your racks. Racks on racks on racks on racks. Yes, Cappies. That's what you're on. So you're not even bothering with anybody I'm hearing negativity. You're not bothering with any negativity. You're not bothering with anyone that's not trying to work with you. I'm hearing anyone that's not trying to work with me, I'm not trying to work with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, coming from the energy of a Capricorn, 100%. You're also focusing on 
being at peace with yourself, Capricorn. So uh, getting into your Zen, I call it, you know, being, being good with you and not letting people rattle you, not letting people get to you, not letting people pull you out of yourself, you know, out of your character. Because some of you, you have, you are suppressing some emotions. So for some of you, you may still have some suppressed emotions towards this person. And I'm feeling resentment, uh, low-key anger, uh, bitterness, frustration. So some of you Capricorns, you're not telling this person how you feel. You just, um, you're just focusing on making your money and moving forward in your life. Yes. You want to be around people that get you. You want to be around uh, people that are on the same wavelength as you. People that want the same things. You don't want to be around anybody where it's a situation where opposites repel each other. You're not, you don't have time for that, Caps. <laughs> Cappy, you don't have time for that. You got things to do. You focus, man. You're focused on your money. Mm -hmm. 100% you are. And you are, whatever it is you are working on, Capricorn, whatever it is you are working towards, keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize, baby, because you're going to get it. You absolutely are going to get it. Mm -hmm. This is also going to help you to find peace within yourself. You moving away from this energy of trying to force something with someone or trying to work with someone who's just not trying to work with you and moving towards people who are, people who are, their vibration matches yours. This is going to help you to, I hear be at peace, be at peace so that you can, you can be in a space where you can focus a hundred percent on the things that you want. And right now it looks like money. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that Cardi B song, money. <laughs> I don't really need a D, I need money. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're focused on Capricorn. So you're moving in that direction. Whatever is going to help you get to where you want to go or be who you desire to be, that's where you're moving towards. So anything else in the past, it's just not cutting it. And for some of you, you were very in love with this person in the past. Yeah. This person could have been a soulmate. They were a soulmate, actually. Uh, for some of you, it was a karmic. Yeah, some of you were dealing with a karmic and that's why it was so imbalanced. And it, this was to teach you to tap into your emotions. You know, um, express yourself. Be who you really are. Don't suppress who you are because you're afraid it's going to get someone upset or you don't want to rock the boat or you want to work with someone so you're not really telling them how you really feel. Spirit doesn't want you to do that anymore. Spirit wants you to focus on yourself. Focus on the things that you want for yourself. Focus on expressing who you are to people. Because that's the only way they're going to know you if you show them who you are. So you can't be hiding and hiding within yourself, keeping your mouth shut when you really want to say something. Or not doing something when you really want to. I'm hearing freedom, Capricorn. This is about you. Your focus is going to take you to a space of emotional, mental, financial freedom. You focusing on what it is you're focusing on now. For some of you, I do feel um, a new love. You're either with somebody else or you have someone else coming into your life. Yes. Spirit said this is the right soulmate for you. For some of you, the person that you're about to meet is your divine counterpart. So... You could very well be a twin flame and not even know it. As the person that's coming into your life now after this karmic situation is your twin flame. Or you could already be with your twin flame and not even know that. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, Spirit said this is going to be a better situation for you. Uh, better, higher quality experiences. Spirit wants you to know that you are also guided and protected on your path. So you don't need to doubt yourself about anything. Whatever you're thinking of do it, doing, do it. Whatever you are working on, know that success is yours. Mm -hmm. You just need to keep focusing on yourself. Making sure that you're in your zen. Making sure that your mind is clear and at peace. 
And you're not letting anyone fuck with your shit. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it, this situation that you dealt with, Capricorns, or the situation that is coming towards you, you learned from it. You learned the lessons from it. So you, you're not going to be repeating this again. This is like a karmic cycle complete. This phase of your journey is complete. And now you're moving into a phase where you focus, man, on making your money. Mm -hmm. And making your life great. Making your life the way you want it. Yes, you are. Some of you may start feeling young again. Mm -hmm. Because you're in your zen and you're not all stressed out letting people stress you out. Mm -hmm. And put you in a headspace. That's not good. So some of you are feeling good. Or you're going to start to feel good. You start to feel better about yourself. Better about your path because you know where you're going and you know what you want now. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you were in a situation with someone where they were, things were imbalanced, imbalanced financially because this person was taking, you were giving too much to this person. Mm -hmm. And there was no equal reciprocity. So I'm hearing child support for some of you, uh, but it wasn't being used for the right things. Like I'm seeing someone getting money for child support and they're going to do their nails, going to do their hair, buying clothes. Uh, just they're taking care of themselves more than they're taking care of the child or children. Mm -hmm. You also learn from this as well. Capricorns, for some of you, you are going to be uh, going back to court and redoing i guess support orders or uh, visitation custody you're going to be creating a new plan of action Mommy. with that Mommy. okay well if you guys can hear i'm being summoned by my princess so i'm going to wrap this up this is what i have for you cappies if it resonates can i get a thumbs up to know that it is hitting home with someone if not Mommy. that's cool it just may not be your day so another time you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, Capricorn. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.